Hello, this is the first tutorial of how to make a side scroller game in C++ with SDL. So, let's get started. First of all, we start by creating some of the file we will work. So, I will create a game.cpp. Uh, this will be the main file. This uh, will put everything together. We need a header file for the game class called game.h we need one more file main.cpp this will be the entry point of the game it has nothing else to do just uh, uh, make an instance of the game class and call the start function of the game class so it will just start the game it will be the entry point of the game uh, not really matter okay and uh, we need a base class called base.h alright and uh, basically that's it for now I will not make a C++ file for the base class uh, later I will when I implement function for now it will be just contain uh, uh, one or two static variables so it will be just like a namespace with uh, with a variable global variable within, in it within the namespace so yeah, that's all. Okay, and I just copy a, f a few files from the original side scroller game uh, because you know I don't want to make it, and probably you know how to make these files. So I just copy it. Okay, I copied it. I hope the keyframes are okay. Uh, I just copy this r.ttf for the true type font there is the blocks.bmp here the important thing that it can be as, as wide as you want as you can see it is 2000 wide and every block is a 50 by 50 block so the height is 50 and the uh, width is 50 and if you want something to actually uh, not shown so hidden uh, then use this uh, blue uh, 00 ff uh, color uh, this will be color keyed out okay so the bullet is just uh, that dot uh, okay the only trick in this picture that uh, you have to use the same uh, picture at zero at uh, <coughs> a square zero zero to 640 and 480 uh, in the beginning of the picture and in the end of the picture as you can see it is uh, completely the same okay uh, so uh, if you don't know how to do that uh, just go back to the uh, si uh, scrolling background tutorial Okay, and here's some basic animation. We will not cover that in this first video. In this first video, we just make the basic shell of the program, and uh, yeah, that's all. Okay, so I just open uh, open up the text editor, and we can start because the, the base dot h is started here. I just start to make make it so if not defined uh, base underscore age uh, you remember this is to avoid multiple inclusion then we define define the base age and the class so class base class call it base class okay uh, so and and if for now I will not put anything in here I just make the shell of it uh, this will contain uh, important function which is needed by almost all of the classes and static variables which actually almost global variables in a namespace actually the same as global variables in a namespace uh, later okay so the main.cpp that ca that we can finish it in this tutorial so we include oh we include the game.h 
and we make the main function we put the int rgc and char rgv in here because else it will not compile on windows operating system okay so make a new class of game called g and just call the start function g start and uh, just return zero so this will be the main.cpp this is just actually start the game that's all it needs to do uh, everything else is uh, stored in this start uh, uh, start function so initialize is the call from the start function and everything other okay and game.age okay uh, so uh, first of all we need to include a few things in here like uh, stream because uh, we want to read the map from a file okay we need to include the vector because uh, we will store the map in a vector okay and obviously the sdl header files so sdl slash sdl dot h oh, uh, dot not dash uh, probably for now it is enough uh, we could include the io stream so include io stream because you know sometimes if we want to write something to the user for uh, temporarily or for debug purposes anything then mm, you need a code obviously okay so make the class game and that's don't forget the semicolon so first of all you need some sdl surface uh, variable which will uh, you know the, the the which will contain the images and the screen the actual screen so this will be sdl surface uh, screen and uh, we need a uh, new for the background okay and we need uh, mm, mm, the blocks we need a new for the blocks okay that's all and we need an fdr rect variable this will be the camera uh, if you haven't seen the side scroller tutorial this will just uh, always be uh, in some of somewhere in the back uh, somewhere in the background so here it is we will uh, we need two rectangle one is in the background this will go 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 and when the right corner of it uh, 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 reaches this point then it will go back and again so this is the endless background okay and we will need another uh, rectangle which will contain our absolute coordinate so if we go 1000 coordinate this will be a thousand coordinate if we go 2000 then it will be 2000 and we will need a player which will contain the which will be used the relative coordinate so for example if it uh, not matter if we go a thousand coordinate the player will be for example 80 coordinate and it will appear in here the screen okay i just wanted to show you that so a little demonstration uh don't worry if you don't understand too much uh, as we going with the development obviously we will uh, uh, use these and uh, probably then it will be clear more clear okay i call this camera as in the tutorial last tutorial okay and uh, we need a vector which contains the, the map uh, bec but we need a multi-dimensional array because uh, as you can see uh, there is a uh, there is a matrix of tiles this uh, little box called tiles so there is a matrix of them and i haven't shown you that how to define a multiple uh, multi-dimensional array with vectors <laughs> Uh, so this is the time right so we need the std vector because uh, we don't use the stl std colon colon 
okay and here inside the vector we put another vector so std colon colon vector and this will use the int uh, template argument one important thing in case of these as you can see now this is the binary shift operator uh, probably your compiler will not li uh, not like how is it right so just put a space here and it is easier for the compiler and you will not get error so this is a vector in a vector which is uh, basically a multi-dimensional vector array okay so call it map because this will contain the map obviously okay uh, for now, I think we need no more, uh, oh, one more, is a boolean array, so boolean code direction, and this will just contain two elements, so this is just from the basic moving tutorial, uh, we can move left and right, obviously, just in this game, we have jump later, but that will be implemented in the player class, and uh, that will be later. Okay, so I think we need no more variables, so we can actually uh, make the functions, okay? F uh, one important function is the load image function, which will just load the image, use the key, color, uh, and everything else, so basically just load, that's all it does. So SDS surface load image and it waits a const char c which is the file name actually i call it file name uh, to make everything clear okay and we need a load map and the show map function load map will obviously load the map from the file and show map will actually show the map okay so void a load map okay and it waits the const char file name as well so with which map should it load and we need a show map and oh this is void as well okay and this will be obviously show the map uh, as you can see these are private member functions so we will not want to call it outside of the class, why would we want to do that? Uh, so there is mostly just uh, um, so there is mostly just the private functions in this class. There is just the start and the constructor destructor which is actually public. Uh, so let's move uh, on so i think oh handle events void handle event okay i just make the handle event separated in a function but basically it's the same as i uh, put the handle handle events uh, into the start so the main loop but I just call the handle event so it will be a little bit cleaner uh, and that's all uh, which we need for now so we need the public a few public function the first is the constructor the second is the destructor then we need the start function which we called in the main and that's all okay so that is the basic shell of the game class now we start to implement obviously these functions okay so oh i forget the if and that i forget to uh, multiple inclusion uh, so avoid multiple inclusion so if not defined game age then we just define the game age so it's not defined game age then we define the game age and the class uh, as we don't do nothing so and if 
okay we avoid the multiple inclusion 